many of the world's top predators are experiencing widespread population declines due to habitat loss, poaching, and over-harvesting. Apex predators are known to play an important stabilizing role in their environment, but the extent to which their presence or absence influence natural ecosystems is still not fully known. This is especially true in the ocean, where interactions between predators and prey are hidden under the water. False Bay in South Africa is a famous hotspot for great white sharks that patrol the waters around Seal Island to hunt Cape fur seals. Here, researchers have been studying interactions between great whites and seals for nearly 20 years, during which great whites have been observed launching more than 40 attacks a day on seals. Several years back, researchers wanted to know if predation risk from great whites was influencing seal physiology. Specifically, if chemical alterations were occurring in the seal's body from stress. To figure this out, researchers collected seal feces off the island's rocks and analyzed these samples for metabolized stress hormones. This provided a non-invasive way to study seal stress physiology. The results revealed the seals were indeed experiencing high levels of stress from the risk of shark attack levels quadruple that of seal counterparts on other islands not exposed to such a high risk of attack. Following the study, the research team wondered what would happen to the seals if their apex predators ever disappeared. Then, nature provided the team with an ideal opportunity to examine this phenomenon when after 2015, the numbers of great white sharks began to decline and ultimately disappear from False Bay for yet unknown reasons. The unfortunate recent decline and then disappearance of great whites provided an unparalleled opportunity to investigate the consequences of losing an apex predator on the behavior and physiology of their prey, a scenario usually extremely difficult to study in the wild. To investigate this phenomenon, we went back to the smelly source of our first study, seal feces. Our team again collected feces from the resident seal colony on Seal Island. To our amazement, stress hormone levels measured in the seal feces were more than four times lower on average in the absence of great whites. In addition to these physiological changes, we also observed behavioral changes in the seals. Seals are now rafting farther from shore over deeper water, a behavior that would have certainly put the seals at risk of shark attack if any were still around. Published in the journal Biology Letters, this study represents the first recorded evidence in the wild of physiological changes in prey due to the loss of an apex predator. Changes in stress hormone levels can have fitness and reproductive consequences, so continuing to investigate how these changes manifest in seals will be very important for future research in this field. Opportunities to study predator-prey interactions in the wild, like at Seal Island, are invaluable. And with the growing declines in many apex predators occurring across the globe, understanding and predicting the associated ecological consequences is a priority for conservation efforts. <laughs>